Have you ever bought an action figure simply because it kind of looked like somebody that you know in real life? Like maybe it looked kind of like one of your cousins or an uncle or just a best friend? Well, here's to hoping that none of your uncles or cousins look like this guy or this guy, I guess. But all jokes aside, this is a dead serious video, guys, because today we are going to be taking a look at some of the figures that are moving the most amount of cheddar out there in the universe. And obviously we're going to be relinquishing this list over to Magneto. We're looking at the top five most expensive Magneto. Magneto Marvel Legends out there and let me be very blunt and clear here I think we're nearing the end of this entire series primarily because I think like I've covered most of the main Marvel characters out there I don't want to dig too deep into the bag of Marvel Legends top five list because it seems like like I said, we, we're nearing the end. We've covered all of the major characters, all of the major players in the Marvel Universe. There are honestly times when I start doing research like, hey, let's look up this one random character and let's look up the top five most expensive Marvel Legends only to find out that there are only like five or six Marvel Legends for that particular character ever in existence. So, and by the way, that's like a couple of days later after doing research. So it's definitely coming to an end. So enjoy it while you still can. And I know I've said this, or I've been kind of pushing it the last couple of weeks, but make sure to check out our top five most expensive Marvel Legends list playlist. It's really good. There's some really good characters and it's kind of just fun to look at some of the figures that have gained an insane amount of value over the past couple of years or, or some of them have just recently gained value because of movie speculation or because they're kind of being brought into the limelight again so like i said it's just kind of interesting uh, to go through all of that but as always if you guys enjoyed this type of content make sure to check out the playlist hit the like button subscribe all that good stuff without further ado without shamelessly self-promoting our channel channel let's get straight into number five where we have magneto from the house of x this is a tri sentinel build a figure wave that hasbro released all the way back in 2021 and it really capitalized off of one of the more popular comic book runs at the time house of x it was very very popular amongst uh, comic book collectors and i think the wave just hit perfectly at the right time as i said it is a part of a build a figure that has kind of garnered somewhat of a cult following honestly the entire wave hasn't really gained too much value some of the figures are considered to be some of the the worst versions of those characters but as i said because the comic book series really gained traction i think this wave as a whole has remained popular with a, a very specific crowd this particular figure if you're looking to pick one up brand new with uh the packaging in really good condition and the build a figure piece obviously still intact you could potentially be paying high 20s to low 30s i have seen some of these opened up going in the high teens or low 20s it's definitely not everybody's prototypical version of magneto but as I said earlier, it has definitely cultivated somewhat of a cult following over the past few years. So there you have it. That's our fifth spot on today's list. Let's move on to the fourth spot where we have the oldest figure on today's list. We're looking at the 2002 Marvel Legends Magneto brought to us by Toy Biz. This is definitely, as I said, an older figure older technology but people that are peers people that love collecting old school stuff this is right up their alley this is a figure that obviously comes in that toy biz packaging so if you're going to buy, buy this brand new you're definitely looking for one that has been well taken care of that uh, plastic just doesn't hold up very well over time this figure has actually very similar price points to our uh, previous entry you're looking at paying uh, low 30s to mid 30s for one that's in really good condition and those that are close to pristine or near mint are going for about $40. You can pick up a loose one for high teens as well. However, in most cases, those are missing an item here or there. If you want a complete one, you'll still be looking to pay roughly about like $20 for him. And I would say closer to about like $25 if it's in very good condition and complete. So this is one of those figures that I always say 
you're better off just buying brand new just because you're going to pay the extra ten dollars but you get to actually open it up make sure all of the accessories are included as well as making sure obviously that the figure is brand new for our third spot i really hate doing this because i almost disagree with it in theory but we're actually going to be talking about a figure that hasn't officially been released we're looking at the marvel legends magneto from the 97 animated series we're looking specifically at the wave 2 magneto and obviously because it isn't officially released you can still pre-order this figure but in theory you don't actually have it there are some websites here and there that already have this figure in stock specifically ebay so i'm assuming this price is eventually just going to plummet very similar to the series one magneto which you can now pick up for like 20 i would say closer to like 25 to 28 to 30 dollar range like mid 20s but as i said because this figure isn't widely available yet i think most places just have it up for pre-order you will be paying somewhat of a premium for the figure but because i am doing the list at this specific moment in time this is a figure that is on the list unfortunately so if you're looking to pick this one up it will run you anywhere from like low 40s to mid 40s i have seen some in the high 40s but you can probably pick this one up for about like 43 to 45 dollars brand new and obviously because it hasn't been released yet you can actually pick this one up used at least as of the moment of this recording there are no listings for any used versions of this figure at our second spot i decided to put magneto from the 2017 marvel legends apocalypse build a figure wave this is a really really interesting figure now the main reason why i decided to put him in the second spot is because i kind of went back and looked at some older listings and this figure was selling very very strong in the last couple of years it has definitely dropped in value but a lot of it has to do with as i've said before just a deluxe re-release we did get a, a different paint job on this apocalypse with the same body mold and it was re-released as a deluxe figure and i think that was one of the main reasons that uh this entire wave just dropped in value very drastically and so to pick this one up brand new like a couple of years ago or even three years ago this figure had a ton of value recently it has plummeted i, I would say it's closer to like a, a one that's in really good condition for about 50 dollars. you will still find uh, some outliers or people trying to sell this figure for well over 100 dollars. but just be weary that's not a very smart choice you just have to be very smart about it uh there there is the option of buying a used one in that particular case you will be paying uh, like high 20s if you if you don't really care about the build a figure piece if you only want the magneto figure but i suppose this is more of like an average for the last couple of years only because i saw the recent uh trend of this figure dropping in value but overall i still think this is a very very strong figure and there was a time when even not too long ago this figure was selling for well over a hundred dollars so that's our second spot let's move on to the top spot on today's list where we have the marvel legends magneto from the jubilee build a figure wave this was supposed to be a toys r us exclusive and as i've said before i think we've had a couple of different figures from this particular wave not only is jubilee one of the most sought after action figures even though we have had some re-releases of her in a non-build a figure format but also the fact that this entire wave contains that toys r us exclusive sticker on it i think that's just going to continue to add a value just because as i said previously uh the the toys r us brand is basically extinct nowadays at least here in the united states it's very difficult to find a store if there are any so that just continues to add to uh, the nostalgia factor and there there are going to be a lot of collectors that hunt down this entire wave just for that fact alone but the figure is one of the most sought after it is considered one of the more premier versions of magneto or one of the more classic iterations similarly to the last entry on today's list this figure has seen kind of a lull recently uh, it did have some extremely high value not too long ago but as time has gone by for some reason this entire wave and this figure has really dipped in, in price so you're now looking at a figure that's going to be in really good condition from a good seller closer to about like the 60 dollars price point if you don't mind a used one in really good condition you'll probably be paying close to around like 25 to 30 dollars it's also worth mentioning that there was an x-men 3 pack that was released uh, about a couple of years ago that also has a ton of value but as i've said before i usually tend to stay away from two packs and triple packs just because it's really hard to 
to calculate which figure has the most value out in the wild but there you guys have it another top five in the books it has definitely been fun as i said at the beginning of the video we're definitely nearing the end of this little uh kind of this little series of videos for the top five most expensive marvel legends but regardless if you guys enjoy this type of content you guys can check out the playlist uh, on our channel and don't forget to hit the like button subscribe let us know down below which is your favorite magneto action figure out there very curious to see what you guys have to say thank you guys so much for all the support stay tuned and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one thank you